Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, today we are going to do a reading for Capricorn. Um, this is going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. Those intuitively guided, which just means you don't know if you have Capricorn in your chart. Probably your spirit guides um, nudging you. There's probably some signs in here for you. Um, and that would be for everyone, really including myself and when i do readings i still pick up signs for myself um but anyway some of you could certainly be in love with the capricorn romantically platonically same thing your guides know you're here um i have to tell you capricorn i did your reading already for december and um the first Mm, well, I thought it was the whole video, but it's like the first couple minutes. It, there's a like horrible yellow tint behind it, and um, and then it goes clear. But I didn't know that, so I thought, oh, I can't put that out. So what I'm going to do because I feel like I really don't remember it, but that's a good thing. I didn't want to remember it. Um, I did it two days ago. Um, but I will release it to you. So I'll probably put the, I'll make it unlisted and I'll probably put the link to the video below. Um, and the only reason why I'm not making it public is I know right away some people will click off. You know what I mean? Um, because they'll assume the whole video is like that. And I assume that, but it's not. It's just like the intro. I think it's when I lift up the first card to the screen, it changes. Um, Kind of forces the camera to go back into normal color, I guess. But anyways, like, and then I did the all signs and somehow skipped you, which just oh makes me so mad. Um, it's just like the video I did, you know, when these things happen, it's like, ah, oh, I put so much effort into something and then boom. Um, like Mercury being in retrograde. But anyway, so I forgot you. So I did your own reading for you, and it ended up being like an hour and a half. But I could definitely see that I was meant to do that reading. Um, and that's what I that's why I feel like we have to learn, like, don't get mad at ourselves. Maybe something's happening for a reason. You know, did you ever hear that saying that if you're like on your way to work and you forgot something at home, um, to spend a little extra time at home. Don't rush right back out because it could be um, your spiritual team, you know, getting you know, like saving you from something that's ahead, you know, a car crash or what have you. So um, I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but I feel like that's really what our guides have the capacity to do. Um, so trust them. And again, I read through my spirit guides who connect to yours. So feel free to ask your guides to give you confirmation. You know, let me know that this reading is for me. You know, give me goosebumps, angel bumps, um, numbers, you know, whatever it is it's between you and your guides. I feel like, um, and then just let it go. Let it be. Uh, so I remember the title of your last reading part of it anyways, and it was the signs are so clear. So I do remember that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this reading. Um, you know, I just feel like you're meant to have this extra attention. So I'm going to give it to you. Uh, we're going to use a few different decks. We're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. We are going to use the Gilded Chirau, if I can pick it up, to go deeper, or, excuse me, one second. Okay, um, so anyways, the, the Gilded Chirau, um, will clarify, to be clarifiers, or really to go deeper. I did bring out the Romance Angels, in case the love comes up. I know I brought them out in your last reading. Um, we are going to use the Major Arcanas, and I really use this as like bullet points to your reading. Um, it's something that I just did off the cuff, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and uh, I just, I don't do it that often, but when I do, 
I realize why I do it. You know what I mean? Like uh, sometimes they can be their own message. So major arcanas for your main spread. Now I did change um, your main spread deck. So we're going to use the psychic tro here. I just want you to know that, um, but everything else is the same. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to go ahead and bring the lid down. Let's go ahead and start with Mother Mary. Everything is always pretty shuffled, but I do like to give it a shuffle with you here. All right, Mother Mary. Um, shout out to my granddaughter, Faith, who is, uh, her birthday is on December 26th. I know some of you share her birthday. All right. We have enthusiasm, enthusiasm. Whatever I am most whatever I am most passionate about is the direction I flow. Whatever I am most passionate about is the direction I flow. Some of you, you may be exactly why you came here. You're looking for validation for something you want to do. Um, and I feel like this is just saying, like if you have passion for something, follow it. It's also energy enthusiasm you know choosing the glass to be half full instead of half empty even if it is half empty you know what i mean sometimes it's half, half empty but there's not there's nothing we can do about that and then we have quiet i go into peaceful silence and I listen, quiet. Well, that would talk about signs, guidance. You know, and I feel like this is anywhere at any time. You know, like maybe I'm in the middle of something that's chaotic and I need guidance. <clears throat> it's not that I have to make sure that the situation around me is calm. I just need to calm myself, at least to receive that guidance. And I feel like it will help you find your way out, let's just say. Whatever, you know, however, it's like your spirit guides are like, however you use us. All right, enthusiasm and quiet. It's almost like opposite energies. Maybe I'm happy being quiet. You know, I get that. I'm a Virgo and um, you're an earth sign. And I am happy sometimes when it's quiet. You know, I appreciate the stillness and I don't know. Not everybody gets that, or they can take it in a different way than it really is. All right. I feel like no matter what your guides are saying, we're going to help you find a way, like a way out or a way to. It could be, again, something you're passionate about. Help me with the direction. Look at the very first card that comes out. Judgment. This is your spiritual team. Oh no, it's temperance. Sorry about that. That's divine timing. Also spiritual. Interesting. You know, temperance's first message is patience. Learning the art of patience. Um, you know, I feel like for some, it's like, you know, learn to be still or happy within the stillness. 
knowing that that something is coming your way or you're coming upon something um, in divine timing. This is about trusting. Whoa. Okay. You know, if nothing else, it lets you know the divine is um, involved in your life, which is the case, whether you know that or not. Oh, hello, lovers. Hello, lovers. Lovers. Divine timing. They feel playful. I feel like um, some of you just can talk about love that could certainly be on the way. <clears throat> and um, it is in divine timing. You know, the lovers, the meaning of the card is a head over heart decision. Yet, honestly, I feel this is more about when this, like the timing that this arises. So I feel like the lovers is it means love. And um, I don't know, I'm just noticing their energy and I like it. It's like playful. It's, you know, they're like just touching fingers, like getting to know each other. But there's Cupid, right? Cupid has struck each of these lovers. We have the chariot. Beautiful. You know, the chariot is really the balance of the feminine and the masculine. You can say that in the lover's energy. And remember, it doesn't, man doesn't matter if you're male or female. We all carry that energy. Masculine and feminine within oneself. But it can also be talking about these lovers and this balance. The chariot really represents un unlimited potential. Um, but what you want to remember with the chariot is it's really driven. The potential is because of the seeds that you plant. You know, let's say I'm in a loving relationship, but I'm not loving. How long will that relationship last? Or the other way around. Let's say I'm in a loving relationship and I am loving. And they're loving. What's the potential of this relationship? You know what I mean? So it's really, it depends. We all have our free will. And I feel like that's what the chariot's driven by, the intentions. Tell me where you want to go. We have the world. Beautiful. Get a lot of cards, I just realized. The world, the next chapter. That feels like divine timing to me. Because it's like the chariot is driving through the portal of the next chapter, the world. You know, um, that's where you're really... You really are walking hand in hand with your spirituality, your spiritual team. You know, maybe you see something that f or feel something. It kind of feels like a miracle. <clears throat> I feel like divine's like, I knew it all along, right? But it, it's in divine timing. So whether, you know, divine's waiting on us, we're waiting on divine and... You know, she is making sure she's got both the soulmates in her hands. She's making sure that they're balanced. That's her job. There's your spiritual team calling you to the present moment. That's good news. Talks about a rebirth. Talks about signs. 
Blowing the trumpet right towards the world. And then, interesting, your major arcana, the devil. You are now mirroring temperance. Divine timing. <clears throat> you know, what it feels like to me is that these lovers are going through this, this portal. You know, it's like you're being called. It's almost like being called from the other side. But you hear this calling. And, you know, maybe you're feeling it. And maybe that's where um, you know, let's just say the lovers is ahead of a hard decision. And enthusiasm says whatever I'm most passionate about is the direction I go, is the direction I flow. So if I feel passionate about this, which, you know, I don't know how you can't. You know, those signs that I felt in your first reading. Again, that's what I titled it. Like, I don't really remember the reading. It may come to me like as we go along, but here are signs again. It talks about, you know, maybe something ending. Maybe something has ended. Uh, maybe it was time. You know, but look what's opening up. You know, first of all, I don't feel like this is really beautiful energy and a lot of spiritual energy. So to me, that means who's ever walking through that portal they themselves must carry that spiritual energy with them. So I feel like, you know, it, it, like a, a higher vibration. More of an understanding. You know... The devil can certainly talk about transformation. And you're directly connected to judgment, your spiritual team. So, all right, let's bring in the um, psychic trail. And let's get even more clarity. Wow. First of all, love begins. I'm not taking it yet. It's not the first card, but wow. We have shadow. Shadow, card of Pisces, ruler of Cancer. Um, we do have the chariot here, which is also Cancer. You know what I love is, I love this image because I feel like this is knowing our dark side, right? We all have a dark side. And listen, there's times that dark side needs to come out. But it's knowing oneself. Um, you know, and it really has nothing to do with the card. It's just the end. It's how it makes me feel. You know, I'm facing. I'm facing the dark, you know, and once I face it, I don't fear it. Once I know it, you know. 
Once I can give you a name, then it takes the fear out of it. Um, you know, the moon can talk about uncertainties. It is the uh, feminine energy. But it can also be dreamy type energy. And then, wow, hello, it is coming under the lovers. We have love begins. Love begins. You know, there's a rainbow behind that cup. And the only other rainbow I see right now is behind the chariot. Again, love begins, but really does have unlimit unlimited potential. Obstacles and challenges. Number five. Five is about change. Could have certainly been obstacles that have been in your way. There certainly could be things that, you know, you've also learned along the way. You know, like the challenges that you had to overcome, but then you do overcome them. And, you know, it's it really is who makes you who you are today. It's your character. <clears throat> and I feel like I have this feeling, you know... I can be proud of it. I feel like some of these challenges were like within. Things that, you know, especially with shadow right here. Like me having to look at things, you know, with a truthful lens. It's like she's walking a plank. But again, I feel like it is the energy of like what you what you overcome. And temperance opening up the reading with divine timing, that may be part of it. Hmm. Tower. Interesting. There's that transformation. You know, it's called disruption here. It's almost like judgment is telling you that, though. I feel like for some of you, you know, for a few of you, I feel that, like, your guides are saying, pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. And that seems kind of abrupt, but... That's, I feel like, the way I'm meant to say it. Interesting that the, the energy love begins and then everything it is surrounded by, not from above. Hmm, interesting. Not from above. But in this linear, linear world, We have the waiting game. Mm. We have foundation and achievements. Wow. I can tell you one thing. If someone has had you waiting, or, or if you have someone waiting, you know, like, it's like, it, like, let's say the lover's again ahead of a hard decision, um, but someone's not, like, making that decision. Instead, it's more this waiting game energy where it's making one, like, have to 
like causing uncertainties. No wonder we see the moon. So I feel like that's what wants to end. So if I'm waiting on another, yet again, they're doing something that, you know, I just know, like you would have to know within like, you know, it's just not right. Um, then that should be your answer. You know what I mean? Because I feel like what this is saying, like with the lovers, I don't know that you're even expecting it. You know what I mean? Um, you may be questioning, like, you know, is this what love is? And, you know, the answer is, you know, it depends who it's coming from. And that might be why I feel like judgment is like kind of showing you the tower, almost like saying, use it. saw the empress before we began and um i don't know i noticed her and now she's out we have emotional loss under love begins hmm. we have partnerships and alliances and then we have the empress so i can tell you one thing you know, I feel like you are the Empress, by the way, 33. I see it all the time. I see it all the time. And it's together all the time. Interesting. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like, and then I'm seeing the 55. Um, but what I was going to say is sometimes I feel like, you know, sometimes there's like a master number. Someone's got like a master number, 33. I see it all the time. I, I feel like it's also a message. I'm going to have to look it up. But anyways, the Empress coming under the tower. Well, you know, the Empress is the one person that is not, you know, besides the fool, that really does not hold on to the past. The Empress is someone who learns from the past. You know, the other three, it says enthusiasm, but it feels like the three of wands to me. So that feels connected, like, you know, it is the glass half full and not half empty. It definitely feels like it had been half empty. It definitely feels like there was something that feels like it was somewhat out of your control. And again, if that is someone who, like, you know, kind of left you on the hook type of energy, I feel like you do have to make a decision. Um, or at least your guides would like you to make a decision, you know. Um, you know, because I feel like the only person who thinks you deserve that is you. Like, your spiritual team is just like, oh, these earthly beings, these earthly beings. But yet, there you are showing up as the Empress. So, he tells me that um not only the towers here right but this then the empress emerges from it it's like stronger than i ever was stronger than i ever was very creative again following your passion someone who really picks up on the signs you know but she's worked at it you know, I feel like we all have the the energy of the Empress and the Emperor within us. It's just that, like our intuition, it's something the more that we trust um, and follow. 
the more signs we seem to get, even though we're always getting signs, we question them or we deny them or, you know, our earthly being is like, no, I don't want to make a change. Um, but our soul's like, ah, but I want to go. I can tell you this, the Empress is not going to wait for anyone. You know, once one moves into that energy, there is no longer the problem of waiting because the Empress is not someone, she knows her own value. And if someone doesn't know her value or, you know, treat her accordingly, um, then just naturally you know, boom, they're going to get that tower. It's like, there you go. But that doesn't come overnight. Remember, she's also loving and nurturing. It means her heart is open. And I can definitely see that some of you have gone through some heartache. Um, maybe someone promising to make a commitment and didn't follow through. I feel like it's a saying, you're going to be okay. Uh, love is going to still find you. And listen, I know it's hard to hear, but sometimes like these things that like when we're in it, it feels like it's, it's the end of us. Um, as time goes by, then you meet someone else and we only have to look at our own history to know that, you know what I mean? Like relation, like I remember being in relationships and, Thinking, you know, when it was like coming to an end, like, oh, this is just the worst thing ever, you know? And now I couldn't, you know, years removed, I couldn't imagine being in those old relationships. Like, thank you, whatever saved me. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm talking about. Like, when you're in it, it's hard to see the light. And this is asking you then to trust, right? Because the more that you move forward, the more that you like claim your, claim your space, claim you, I feel like the more, you know, the energy has to follow that. You know, you have two fives. One is about obstacles. And that's just life, right? We've got to learn to overcome these obstacles. Some of them, you know, again, the light looking at the dark. Um, and then the five of cups, you know, someone could have certainly broke her heart for, for, for whatever reason. Five of cups really speaks about where your focus is at. And the focus is on what I have lost. And often... You hear me saying the five of cups, you know, because fives want you to change. It's asking for change. That there are two cups that are behind this person, but they don't know it yet. Right? And because their focus is one way, and it's like this trumpet of your spiritual team of judgment is trying to get your attention this way. You know, partnerships and alliances right next to the Empress also, I feel like that ties us a little bit back to the lovers because, you know, they're not just holding hands. It's their grasp. It's like, it's like a forever type of, like, I got you. I got you. And it's both ways. I got you. I got you, babe. I got you, baby. <laughs> if nothing else, I feel like the Empress herself has mastered um, quite a few things in life. It doesn't mean that she's like done learning because I feel like we're always learning. Mm, look at the more advice. Financial and material changes. And conflict and defeat. 
Interesting. There definitely feels like someone is holding someone up. And it could be financial for financial reasons. Um, you know, the first thing I want to say is I feel like if like I want to let go of this, I want to settle or what have you. Um, I might have to be willing to like accept half, let's say. Um, and then as the Empress, I feel like, you know, she's abundant. Like she will create her abundance, even if I'm starting at the beginning, like, you know, I'm not sure which direction I'm going to go. Her, she's very trusting in her guides, you know, again, like, passion being sent to you and all you have to do is follow it and then you may find yourself on this path that just feels like wow the opposite of the tower so maybe i do have to give a little or accept less to close something um, but that has to be your personal choice. But man, I, I just don't feel like you've had it easy in love. Um, so what feels like it's coming toward you is just going to feel probably somewhat unnatural. Interesting. We have memories of love on the bottom of the deck. Six of Cups. Memories of love. Maybe there's someone on your mind. You know, maybe you found yourself in a, in a not such a great relationship. Um, and, you know, while you were in it, like, you allowed your mind, your heart to travel, you know, back, back to a time. I do feel like there's a few people like they were saying to themselves, like, how did I get here? How did I get here? And I feel like the answer is don't even worry how you got there. How are you going to get out of there? What are you going to do to change it? If you, if you really want to change it, you know what I mean? And I feel like you're not alone. You have a lot of guidance to help you. Um, and you know, you may not believe that until it happens. You know what I mean? Like you may be someone like where I need proof before I can believe. Well, I feel like here. It feels like in some way you're gonna you're gonna get the proof, but don't let that be the reason. All right, you should remember a lot of times fives speak about free will also, and you're the one who has you know it's your free will. So when it's your free will, like you have to make the ultimate decision. Right, but if things get like so bad, yeah, I'm still hanging in there. I need to ask myself why. I mean, I get it. You know, you also want to think about. Let's say the Empress, right, who, first of all, I feel like creating whatever it is you want to create, create, this feels like a very creative time. I feel like if I've lost anything, it's like you're regaining, you know, probably tenfold, really. And again, some of you, like you're following these, your passions, which I feel like really probably started as signs, 
um, you know, almost like, you know, inspiration and you followed it and you may like find yourselves on these different paths that maybe you never expected, but yet just feel so right. And again, it could be after a loss. So not only do I feel like you regain, but you regain your peace of mind also. Okay. By the way, we have the marriage card here. I don't really think I talked about that. Um, but let's just call it the commitment card. But it's being mirrored by all these fives. Uh, somewhat difficult fives. We have the King of Cups. Um, coming over Pisces, could be Pisces. Also, Rory Cancer, could be Cancer. Also, Scorpio. Um, but King Cups, to me, is the king that I would want to see as it relates to love. I mean, I really want to see them all. But... You know, I'm looking at love begins. I feel like some of you have like been with this, like with a king of cups, not this king of cups, but a king of cups, but in reverse. Um, and this and the king comes in the upright is someone who really is loving and um, really enjoys partnership, you know, having a special person. Um, you know, they're, I don't know, loving and nurturing. They're much like the empress. But if he was reversed, then he'd be like giving his love outwardly, you know what I mean? And not so much to you. Like someone who kind of shuts down their emotions. You know, I uh, like, I feel the energy of like someone being bipolar, like I'm in my light and I'm in my dark. I'm in my light and I'm in my dark. I never know how this person's going to show up in their light or in their dark. How are they going to show up? Hmm. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. I like that. Coming over, love begins. Ace of Cups. Connecting to the lovers. Um, Seven of Pentacles, to me, is like your tree of life. It's, you know, I feel like it has to be these lovers who planted certain seeds. Um, seeds of intention of coming together. And, you know, that may be why temperance is like, you know, in divine timing, in the right timing. Really, it's the right timing. But also knowing that you'll be guided. Like, you don't even have to worry in this type of energy. It feels like every, like you're being guided. Um, Seven of Pentacles, it's also patience. 
you know, patience, allowing like each seed to come to full fruition. You know, if it was an apple tree, allow each, like, I don't want to pick that apple before the apple is ripe. But I do feel like it is your soul seeds of intention. So, you know, yes, my my soul wanted to come down here and learn about love, um, but also about, you know, creativity, um, empathy, compassion, like a lot of different things. But I feel like love is also part of it. And it definitely feels like these lovers, just just the way they are together, they just feel so natural. It just feels natural. Now, do you know that? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't feel like you know that. You know, you can trust that it's on your path. And then... Think about where your own energy is at. You know what I mean? Because, like, remember, <clears throat> through, like, the law of attraction, just energy alone, you know, like, the universe must meet you where you're at. Like, if I'm in the Empress's energy, her heart is open. But she's also powerful, strong, and it's her intuition that she trusts. So, you know, it doesn't matter what you say to me. I trust myself first, my intuition, but she's open, you know what I mean, like, she's not, like, closed-minded, she's open, um, I forget why I even brought her up now, but, okay, let's keep going, so, that's good news, Hmm. Two swords. Two swords coming over the chariot. It's almost like, but also obstacle and obstacles and challenges. Uh, two swords. You know, literally, this person has a blindfold on. It's like they're trying to stop the world from turning. Like I want to stop time, but they can't. You know, in the two swords, sometimes it's just like the human part of us where, you know, like maybe we do meet someone and like fear, like, oh, fear raises its ugly head. But look, I understand why. So do your guides. And that's why I feel like the signs will be so clear um, that even if I do deny them, I think I'll, re I'll rethink it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think I'll rethink that. And I feel like that's allowed. But anyways, this could just talk about something like I don't want to face. You know, if you've had some bad relationships, think about where your energy was at during that time. Like, I know during my like really difficult relationships. I myself was in, you know, I didn't have a lot of self-confidence. Um, though I, you know, I would act like I did. Um, and I feel like, you know, as our, our vibration lifts, so does what the universe delivers to us. So, you know, and sometimes we can't control the timing of something, but we can control how it shows up. So, energy, right? Enthusiasm. Go to that quiet place, that quiet mind when you need to, you know, face whatever fears you need to face. Some people are just fearful of change, right? Because they don't know what lies on the other side. Well, I do.
You know, I don't feel like the chariot moves until the person in the two of swords takes off the blindfold and faces whatever obstacle or challenge is in her way, his way, and um, faces it. And I don't feel like it's as bad as one may like be telling oneself. Especially the longer we are blindfolded, the bigger the monster becomes. This is talk. If this is talking about movement, you know, from someone again who would cause obstacles and challenges. First of all, connected to the tower, connected to the waiting game. Feels like in some way they play an emotional game with you. Um, you know, that's their lesson to learn. We have the Page of Swords over the tower. Interesting. It's like communication. Communication. This could be some type of communication, like during one of my down days. Um, you know, I could be like feeling like I'm in kind of in a towerish type moment, energy, and then some type of communication. I feel like we'll change that quickly. So we'll see. We got a lot of cards here, but we're going to take them. Take them in the way they came out. Mm, hello, son. The Illuminator. You know, I can tell you this. I feel like the sun is here to help ease your mind a little also. Because, especially if you had it rough in love, the sun really is, the again, the illuminator. Illumes, it illuminates everything. So, you know, if there's anything done in the dark, it will come to the light. And it is, you know, you have the, you have the feminine, now the masculine energy. Um, and you have the chariot. So, you know, it's looking for the balance between this two. The sun coming over the waiting game. You know, to me, the sun's about a new beginning, like, you know, brand new day. Um, but it's a very, it should be a very good time. It should be, you know, it, I feel like pretty quickly, something I feel like helps you recover from whatever this tower energy is, whether I gave it or I received it. It feels, it still feels like I feel the difficulty of it. Um, but I feel like, Pretty quickly, something happens that takes you out of that energy. It's almost like it, it turns that frown upside down. And I don't know. In a way, I feel like it may change the whole way you, th you think. Look at this, the Knight of Cups, unexpected cup of fulfillment. Here I come, save the day. Interesting. Intemperance mirroring it, right? It's all in divine timing, my dear. Stop telling yourself you can't have it, you won't have it. You know, but if you're stuck in something that doesn't, you know, you don't feel respected in, then do what you need to do also. Like, do your part, we'll do our part. Um, because I feel like temperance, you know, it definitely feels like soulmate energy. So, you know, I, I'm taking care of both these cups, making sure both these cups are equally filled. 
you know, uh, the cups of the lovers. I mean, the ace of cups right below the lovers. Seven of pentacles, something is meant to happen. Five of cups. I don't focus on the past, what I have lost. Instead, I focus on the potential of the future. Those two cups. I don't even know that they're there, but they're there. <clears throat> That's what's coming in the Knight of Cups. And don't forget the Ace of Cups as love begins. All right, well, let's keep going. Hmm, look at this, another night. Here's passion. Whatever I'm most passionate about is the direction I flow. Well, here's your passion, my child. It's also fast moving. <clears throat> it, it's like when you change your focus from what's wrong to what's right or what can, what can be right through my own intentions, through my own actions, then I feel like just a lot of the universe to surprise you. Um, boy, this is definitely feels like you're going to feel it. Like, I don't know how you're not going to feel this energy. We have justice. Hmm. With the two swords right above it. So some of you are wondering whether you use that sword of justice to cut ties to all these fives. And all these fives may be one person. Um, you know, only you can answer that. But I would say, you know, if you don't feel special, recognized, then that might be your answer. If you feel imbalanced, you know, you don't feel whole, that might be your answer. Also called labor, by the way. We have, well, hello, full. I feel like that just answered many people's questions. So, a new beginning. Right over the Empress, by the way. And, by the way, the tower is right there. But yet, the foal is not carrying the energy of the past with them. So, that tower, I feel like more now is the Empress's power. Like, like she's got these towers and she knows when to give them out. And I'm not even saying she's going to have a reason to, but she's got them. You know, it's like part of her wisdom. It's like part of what you now carry with you. You know, the fool's all about a new beginning. It's all about taking a leap of faith. You know, some of you, you may get like this communication. I love that it's coming from the light energy. It could be the masculine to the feminine. Um, you know, however it comes. Well, let's keep going. We have the six of pentacles. And then... We have the King of Pentacles. Well, King, you're around all these five, so. Mm. Um, now, it could be you. Could be you. So, the Six of Pentacles coming over all these fives, you know, financial and material changes, conflict and defeat, um, um, picking up the waiting game with it, obstacles and challenges. Six of Pentacles really is learning that fine art of give and take. The Empress learns it, you know, and that may be part of what the lesson is, right? Like, I'm learning who to give my energy to. Um, and I need to know that, like, you know, it needs to come back to me, right? It needs to be equal. Sometimes it's learning, like, who to give a hand out to. It might give me a hand out or a hand up. Um, but this is really, you know, it's coming from really empathetic and compassionate type energy. So it's coming from a very good place, but it can be taken advantage of. Um, and I feel like that's what, that's what the lesson is. Like, okay, so I see that. 
And that's that. I see it. So now I can make whatever change is necessary. King of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, it could be you, male or female. Um, I think I want to just take a card on this king. We had the Four of Cups flip around. Four of Cups talks about discontentment or boredom in one's life. Four of Cups is a lesson to use one's spiritual discernment as, well, in here a cup is coming to this person. So, you know, it kind of ties back to the Ace of Cups. And simply saying, you know, use your spiritual discernment. But it feels like, again, this can this kind of feels like the king feels like you. Um, so, you know, maybe I am in a little bit of discontentment. But that doesn't mean opportunities won't still find me. Because I feel like one is. All right. Let's bring in the romance angels. And let's follow these knights. The Knight of Cups, unexpected cup of fulfillment. Well, we already have that Ace of Cups, so we know. We know it's talking about love. The Knight of Wands. Someone's going to stir your soul. I just know that. Someone's going to stir your soul. Let's not forget this knight is following the sun. So to me, it feels like coming out of the light. You know, so I don't have to worry that this is someone that, you know, has issues. And Mother Mary herself saying that if you feel the passion, then follow it. Well, that's what the Knight of Wands is. It's the passion. And you're feeling it. Whether you want it or not, you're feeling it. Let go of control issues. Interesting, it just started pouring down rain here. Pouring. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Wow, I get that with all these fives. Just enjoy, but just allow it to unfold. You know, to me, it's another sign that it's meant to be, but just, you know, sometimes it's about the journey. Like, don't skip the journey. That's where all, you know, I, listen, this is all coming over um, marriage and commitment. So even if I use the Swords of Justice to cut ties, let's say, to another commitment, you know, it's just telling you love is not over for you. You can say it is. Um, but I feel like I feel like it finds you, again, in divine timing. And some of that is us. You know, some of that waiting is us. It's our free will, right? It's making those decisions to, like, you know, use this sword, get balanced again, and then manifest, right? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Holy crap, is it raining? Healing family issues. Some of these fives may be your, your family. Your love life benefits as, well, you forgive your parents. Interesting. Forgiving and learning. So some of you, 
these are some of the let you know because I feel like these fives are all about the opportunity to like learn a lesson and like check it off done learned it and I feel forgiveness is definitely one of them forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments letting all those fives go Right? You experience more love in your present moment. And then, hello, soulmate. So, the last card that comes out is a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Hello. You know, if we only knew that when we're in the tower, that all this is yet to be, then we would move very quickly out of that tower. And I feel like this is like your spiritual team saying, well, we're going to help you move quickly out of these towers. <clears throat> um, and then we're also going to show you how to make these towers your power. You, that's what you're learning here. And yes, there may be some forgiveness. It doesn't mean you got to pick up the phone, call them. It just means like, don't be willing, like, don't carry it with you. Right. Allow yourself to be free and clear and, you know, enthusiasm. Have it in your heart. Um, follow the signs. That's the main thing. Follow the signs. And, you know, understand that, like, some of this is life lessons. They were not easy. Um, but I feel like many of you accomplished them. And you should be proud of that. And, you know, it just feels like as you yourself, like, learn these things and your energy um, increases, let's say, or your vibration um, raises, it's just natural that you have more things to be happy about. You know what I mean? Like, when I put, like, these positive seeds of intention out and my vibration is... And I'm not saying you don't have bad days because I do feel like you might be having a bad day and then something happens that changes everything. It can be that quick. For some of you, it may be that quick. Um, but what I'm saying is you have a lot of control over your own energy. You know, again, when I look at thighs, I think of free will. Um... But I feel like this is really moving you towards probably your soul seeds of intention anyway. You know, it feels very special. It really does. Um, and I'm glad I did another video for you. Um, and I will, I'll connect the first one also. Uh, now I got to go listen to it. Like, I want to see how it relates to this one. So I'm going to let that be, guys. How beautiful. I felt like... I feel like it just told us the story as we went along. And um, I know you're going to be in different places within the reading, but it's helping you, I feel like, in each stage. You know what I mean? But ultimately, I feel like it's reaching the Empress's energy, allowing yourself to be in the Empress's energy. And then I feel like, what it, you know, then the world is your oyster. All right, guys, I'm going to let that be. I love you. I thank you. I don't know why I'm giving you all this. Well, I, I love you. That's why I'm giving you all this special attention. But, you know, maybe you just need it. So I hope this helps bring um, you that clarity and comfort that maybe you're seeking. So I love you guys. Thank you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.